Hello, this is me, Corporal Lork, doing the seventh tutorial on UDK and how, he, how to make a game. Okay, so this is part A of the seventh video because I, there are going to be two parts. One is how to create trees for UDK and one is how to implement them into UDK itself. Okay then, so with when downloading UDK you get a piece of software called Speed Tree Modeler. Now, that is more power intensive than UDK, so to actually use this you will need a fairly more powerful, you need a fairly powerful computer. So, what you want to do is you want to start up Speed Tree Modeler, it's, um, if you've got Windows 7 you can just search it into your start bar, but it's, you should get it with your UDK download. So, okay, let's go to File, and New, and it will load all this stuff up. As you can see, you've got your base here, which you can move by left clicking to rotate and you can zo move in and out with the scroll on your mouse so first you want to add your trunk to your tree so uh, you click on tree, you can right click add to selected and we want to add a trunk so let's go for trunk standard RT and as you can see you've got your tree trunk created now on the left you can see all these different variables and that you can go into and it will, it will all affect the formation of your trunk. Now, to go through all these and explain them all will take a very long time. So all you need to really know is about materials and we'll come into that in a later date. Okay, so, you've got your trunk, you want to add branches. So you right click on trunk, add to selected, branches, let's go level, level 1 standard, that will give you these larger branches. If I just zoom out and go to level 1, add to selected, branches, and level 2 standard. So level 1 is the main branches, level 2 is the secondary branches. Here you are if you have your tree. So if I move up a bit, uh, you've then got your lot of things here. Uh, so if you then go to level 2, you can add other things such as uh, fronds and you can actually draw the tree yourself and tr leaves, roots, trunks and templates or default types. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add leaves. Now I'm going to add standard RT leaves. Now leaves are the longest to take and these will, if your computer cannot handle it, severely slow down your performance. So as you can see, all these little placards uh, represent where leaves will go. I now need to add materials to this. So first, for the trunk, if I select the trunk, either on here, or from here, you go down and you go to materials, and you click, I think it is this one, and it brings out the textures. So, I'm going to go for conifer bark normal, so if I click that, open, and then if you go and find uh, if you go and find materials on the left hand bar uh, and go on to branch you should be able to go to that and add conifer bark normal now, as you can see I've chosen a wrong sort of material for this so it won't display it properly so if I add this let's go for conifer bark open and that one is much better as you can see in this image we go to material again Uh, I need to reselect the trunk. Uh, go down, materials, conifer bark. And there we are, you've got it. Now, we select level 1 branches and simply do the same with all the others. Now, if you want to have levels of detail, you can make your own materials and add them in as long as you save them as TGAs and you can add. Uh, different types and different variations of the same materials in different places to add other things to it. Now, if you look up, the cap's not done, so that's changed in cap here. So if you then go to uh, set trunk, cap, material, conifer bark. So there you are, the cap of the trunk is now done. Okay then, so now we need to add leaves. So if you select your leaves, then go to adding material. If you scroll down until you find 
until you find let me have a look sample leaves two and open that so we get these leaves and then select your leaves and as you have done before uh find materials if I can find it I think that's where it is but I think there is a slight difference it? ah Ah, yep, yeah, sorry, you go to leaves on the left when you're selecting leaves. And you go to material and sample leaves too. And there you are, you have now got leaves added to your tree. So, as you can see here, is you've got your nice modelled tree. And it is ready, almost, to be put into UDK. So, first what you want to do is you want to file and save your tree and I'm going to put it on my desktop and save it as um, a tutorial tree uh, actually I'll create a document new tutorial tree and save okay so we've now saved our tree. All we need to do is we need to go into another bit of software that came with um, UD or UDK download, which is called Speed Tree Compiler. Now I'll uh, close out of this and load up Speed Tree Compiler. Okay, so I have loaded up Speed Tree Compiler, and you'll first be uh, presented with this box. Now what you want to do is you want to go to Add Trees and then go to the location where you saved your tree file, so here, tutorial tree tutorial tree dot spm open so now you've done this you can click next now these are things you can all edit um, let's I'll go, let's make a new folder uh, Speed tree tutorial. Okay, um, and you can create billboard atlas, merge billboards into textual atlases, and all this stuff. But what you want to do is you want to click. You don't have to change any of these. You can do this yourself if you know what these mean. But I won't go into them for now. So okay, if I click uh, finish, it will then compile everything together like this. Now, this is probably means nothing. But what you want to do is, if you go into merge into textures, you get this, and it just sort of makes them a smooth. I think it makes a smoother uh, change between your different materials on your tree. Now, it's basically what you have to do now. So, what you do uh, is you go to session, compile now, and speed tutorial, and then click compile. Now, and done okay so now uh, if we go to our folder so let's go to desktop and let me find it it's speed tree tutorial and here we are we've got all these things that when you decay can be made into a tree okay so this ends part a of the seventh tutorial of UDK on how to add trees to your um, map and to your game and I will continue in B on how to import your tree to UDK.